Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, It's been a couple of weeks since we got any new content up on the channel. We are super busy. We are cranking away on our um, bike sprues and barbecue build. We're down to under a month to get this thing done and to Virginia. Plus the shop is swamped with all our regular work. So anyway, that's what's been going on. Um, don't have a lot of time to film today, so I figured I'd do a little quick walk and talk in the shop. Just show you guys everything that's going on. Um, we've got a lot of cool projects um, underway. Some getting ready to get wrapped up. Some getting ready to broke down for paint and chrome and all that good stuff. And uh, so this will be a short one. Just going to cruise on through, show you guys what we're working on. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so we're going to start off at the front room. This is our Bikes, Brews, and Barbecue build. Um, since last time, we now have a full roller. Um, got a rear wheel in, got our sissy bar all polished up and installed. We got our seat back from Hawk and Hills Leather in West Virginia. I'll put a link to their Instagram page if this camera would focus. And it won't. So anyway, I'll put a link to their Instagram page. You can check out what they got going on. So... That's what we're working with there. Jump over here. We got a 1926 JD. It's just in for a little bit of repair work. It was bought at an auction and has never really run right. Had some weird parts. They tried to adapt to it to make it run. Um, parts used to be extremely difficult to get for these. and It's gotten a little bit easier to get stuff, so we're trying to get that corrected and back on the road. Got a little Evo motor build for the uh, soft tail rigid conversion that we're working on with Tom. Um, it's all torn down and uh, just waiting on some time to get finishing on that. Here is our shovel head motor. It is not 100% assembled, but it's assembled as far as it's going to be before we put it into the frame. Um, once we get it in the frame, we'll add on the rest of the stuff. Uh, push rods, push rod tubes, and all the external oil lines and stuff. We just felt it would be easier and less likely of any of the oil lines getting damaged to install them once it's in the bike. So we got an Ironhead Sportster frame in the frame jig, doing a little stretch with a gooseneck. Got to put this uh, really cool vintage Springer on it. Swing around here. There you go. It's about a 16 over Springer, so that will uh, find its life on the Ironhead Sportster chassis. A couple of other projects you guys have seen before. This is our little Evo chopper build. All the fab on it is done. We gotta get it off the table this coming week, get a kickstand on it, and it'll be ready to break down for paint and chrome and all that good stuff. The uh, Ironhead Sportster dirt bike chassis is just about situated we're ready to put the motor in once we get the motor in then we can continue on with the rest of the little bit of fabrication the foot controls and all that stuff so this is the 1941 Chevy coupe working on wiring and interior stuff on it right now so as you can see the dash is in the center console and uh, Lots of tedious wiring going on on that. Then you see lots of other bikes in here just for general service and repairs. That's my 78 shovel head that I need to put the gas tanks on and fix the brakes, which has been waiting for almost two years now. Here we got the 55 Chevy two-door chassis. Lots of chassis mods getting done on this. It's getting a supercharged stroker motor, so we got a chassis brace kit getting ready to go in. Relocated the leaf springs, stiffened up the chassis, Ford 9 inch, all the little trick stuff to make this thing run good. My 93 inch pan head. I don't know if I've done any videos on this. Maybe we'll do a Chopper Chronicles episode on it pretty soon. It's just about done. We got it running. A couple little brackets need to be made. Um, but it's been on the road a little bit. A little Sportster Chopper. We're just doing some finishing details on. Get it on the road for the customer. 
Lots more service and repair work. Bikes everywhere. You can see here, no shortage of motorcycles around here. Lots and lots of stuff to do. Here's a 65 Mercury Comet four-door we just finished doing a little motor swap on. This thing will be ready to go on the road very soon. All right, guys, just a quick interruption in the video here. I want to tell you about how to enter to win. Um, as I said in a couple previous videos, we're going to pop this information in the middle of all of our videos here and there um, just to let people know how to enter, and it'll get people to watch the videos as you got to watch and find where the information is. So it's going to be real simple. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, doesn't cost you anything. You just need to send an email. I'm going to try to get the email on the screen here. I'm not a super tech whiz, so we'll see how that goes. But um, the email address is pretty straightforward. It's Gaddy's Garage Giveaway at gmail.com. So all you have to do, send one email in the email, subject line, giveaway, and in the body of the email, your name, address, telephone number that's it um, you don't actually even need to give your whole address if you don't want just let's scratch the address let's give your name your city and state and a contact phone number we're not going to sell the phone numbers no one will ever have them but me so don't worry about that you're not going to get sales calls I hate sales calls as much as everybody else but we do need a way to get a hold of you if you win so um, again, name, city and state, telephone number. You do need to be a subscriber to the channel to win also. So if you're seeing this and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and then send the information on over. So we look forward to everybody entering and we're really excited to give away this bike. Now back to the video. Yeah. 1935 Dodge Coupe. This one's just about finished. Working out a few bugs on it. Hair ride, chop top, LS swap. It's an electric start UL. Big inch flathead. Again, this one's just about buttoned up. Forty-eight panhead. This is in for an electric start conversion, as well as some other odds and ends. New sissy bar, rear fender, some upswept cocktail shakers. A little Evo soft tail. It's a flip bike. Just picked it up, getting it running, and it'll be for sale here pretty soon. So, if you're in the market for an Evo soft tail, let me know. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little walk and talk, seeing what's going on in the shop. Don't forget to check out our giveaway bike videos and uh, share those videos with your buddies so we can get this bike given away here pretty soon. Um, also, something else we've been wanting to do is uh, do a little Q&A video series. So if you have any questions, you want to know about the shop, you want to know about us, you have a question on a project you're working on, whatever it is, um, go ahead and shoot us an email um, at this email right here, and uh, we will do some question and answer videos once we get enough stuff posted. So thanks again, and we hope to see you next time at Gaddy's Garage.